it's gonna be on how to be able to install Django on Windows 10. There's gonna be two requirements so we can install Django. The most important one is you gotta have PyCharm and Python already installed on the system. PyCharm is optional as far as you don't have to have it, but it will make things very simple. And also Python, that's just required to be able to install Django. So if you don't have python installed i would definitely recommend to go ahead and go to your browser in python and it should be the first website is python.org okay so just click on that and you can uh, be able to follow along with any version of python however uh, the one that i'm going to be using it's going to be 3.8.3 so if you want the same version you can just go to where it says download and it says download for windows and that's the one that is uh, available right now so you can click on that so okay uh, the only thing is I would recommend to first go to windows okay and then under python 3.8.3 .3, if you want to follow along with that one is you want to make sure that you're getting the correct version sometimes people download the x86 and not the x8664 so the x86 is for the 32-bit um, and the x8664 is for the 64-bit more than likely you want the x8664 and I would recommend to go with the web-based installer okay um, and then after you have installed Python uh, make sure that you set it up to where it's gonna be on your path uh, the way to check that is if you open up your CMD and you type in Python, it will give you the version. If for some reason nothing's showing up, then you want to go ahead and set it up to your path. So type in, in the menu, type in variables. Okay, and then go to edit system variables. Click on environment variables and then go to path uh, over here. And then click on edit. And then you want to go ahead and add the following path. It should be under your computer. Uh, app data, the local programs, Python, and then Python, whatever version. So, more than likely, you want the Python 38. So, to be able to locate it, go to your local C and then go to users and then go to computer name under app data, go to local under programs. Okay, under programs and then under Python, you should be able to locate the right version. Then just click on this here and then copy the path. Okay, and once you have that, just go ahead and paste it in here. Another thing is you want to go ahead and add the scripts directory as well. And that's it, then it should be available in your path. Next thing is to install PyCharm. PyCharm is optional, but I would definitely recommend to do that. All you would do is open up PyCharm and create a new project. So let's go ahead and close this one here. Okay, create new project. Okay, make sure that it's pointing to the Python executable that you want to use. And that it's under virtual environment. So click on create. I think I would recommend to be able to follow the tutorials that I'm going to be making. Uh, just go ahead and go to djangoproject.com and here you can actually be able to get all the code and all the uh, documentation as well so we can go to where it says documentation and here basically if you go through the steps as far as how to install it the templates the forms what the admin everything is going to give you a lot of different examples that you can uh, be able to easily follow along more than likely you want to go with the to begin you want to go with the installation so you can click on that and here it's going to give you all the options so to install it it's not that difficult okay so to be able to install it you see the uh, options over here more than likely pip is what you want to go ahead and use uh, at least that's what i'm going to be using in pycharm so let's go ahead and get started let's go ahead and open up the terminal and let's go ahead and type in the command so the command is pip install django you can use python dash and pip install django however it's not required, you can just do pip install Django and press enter, and that should go ahead and install it. One thing 
um, in the Django website they have a search box over here that you can use so like for example if we go back to the uh, documentation and then we go to the uh, download or the installation I mean and you try to follow over here like if you click on complete installation guide once you're done with the installation then it's going to take you to the models and the databases uh, more than likely that's not what you want to do so you can use the search box so let's say the first thing you want to go ahead and do is learn how to create an app so just type in app okay and then in here um, we can see where it says writing your first Django app more than likely this is where you want to get started okay and in here it gives you some uh, other commands that you can use like to check the version of Django um, since we use pip it's actually pretty simple to be able to check I'll go ahead and show you how to do that once it's uh, finished updating uh, but the next step would be to go ahead and create the actual project for uh, Django that we're going to be working on so uh, the convention is to go with my site so we'll just go ahead and stick with that since it's uh, successfully installed you can actually check the version uh, by typing it typing pip show and then just Django and this will give you the information about the uh, package so it gives you the version it gives you the summary it gives you the home page gives you the author and even their email the license where it's located and some of the uh, requirements as far as the packages that it requires in here so it installed these packages okay so let's go ahead and get started So the first thing I want to go ahead and do is want to go ahead and create a project. So we're just going to go ahead and if uh, we copy this code over here and we can actually paste it on the terminal and just go ahead and press enter. So basically what we're doing here is we're typing Django-admin and then start project and then my site actually. Okay. And then this will create a project or a folder with a lot of different folders and files inside of it. So it should be in here, there we go, my site. And then you have a my site folder. And here you got a bunch of files. Most important one is the manage.py to begin with. Uh, manage.py is used to be able to migrate databases to start the server and a couple other things. So very useful. Okay, and then after that, we can go ahead and uh, create an app. So to be able to create the app, first of all, we wanna go ahead and run the server. So we can just copy this here and we can just come back and paste it so it's python manage.py run server okay but before we actually even do that uh, as you see we're still under the uh, root directory i'm going to go ahead and cd into the my site directory the uh, django project so let's go ahead and do that so cd my site and now we can go ahead and do the Python manage.py and run the server. Okay, press enter. Okay, if you click on the link here, the URL is gonna go ahead and open up the actual server. Okay, there we go. So we have the server running. So we wanna go ahead and leave that running. Um, and then we'll just go ahead and open up another terminal and then we're gonna go ahead and cd into my site again. Okay and now we're going to go ahead and create the actual app okay so we're going to go ahead and paste the following in here okay so python manage.py start app polls we're just going to go ahead and stick with polls for right now and press enter okay and you should get another folder over here within my site uh, it's called polls and this will have more folders and files in here Okay, so that's it. Then after that, what we want to go ahead and do is we want to go ahead and go to the uh, my site main directory and then go to the. Let me open this up. I'm going to go to the settings.py. Uh, this is very important. Anytime you create an app, you want to make sure if you see here it says installed apps. So you want to make sure that you always put these apps in here. Uh, so within single quotes. You just pass in the name so we called it polls and make sure you put a comma afterwards and that's it so now it's registered in here in the settings.py so now we should be able to have access to it that's it that's how you're able to install django on windows 10 and be able to create your first app and then uh, 
we'll go ahead and get started with the app on the next video so that's it for now bye